Guys, my name is Arugasito8, uh, here to do a tutorial on the custom playmat that I made for Cardfight Area. Uh, so there's going to be three tutorials in total, this one being the advanced version, so assuming that you know how to use Photoshop proficiently, uh, I'm just going to go over quickly of what you can edit and how everything is structured within the file here. Uh, the second one being the more novice version, so uh, assuming that you have a really basic understanding of Photoshop, or almost maybe even no experience of Photoshop but want to edit this file, um, I'll be going into more detail on that one. And then lastly, last one's going to be the tutorial for the simplified GIMP version. Uh, so if you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to torrent it, then you can download GIMP, which is a free uh, editing software, editing program basically. Um, editing slash drawing slash, it, it's a free Photoshop essentially. Um, it's much more limited in what you can do. Uh, so again, there will be three tutorials, this one being the advanced. So with that, let's get started. Uh, we'll go from the top folder here downwards, so uh, top and bottom fields, kind of self-explanatory. Um, we'll go into bottom field here since everything within the folder, so all of these, uh, all these files here, they are all uh, smart objects, and these smart objects are connected with these smart objects as well. So whatever you change in here will also change in the top field. Uh, so we'll go into rearguard circle since pretty much it's the same thing for vanguard circle, but so edit contents. Uh, within the contents here, we have the five rearguard circles, making it much easier for when you're changing the colors of the rearguard circles. So it changes all of them at once. Uh, if you want to do it individually, you can just go into here and you know change the colors from here. Uh, just make sure that you disable the effect in over here um, but yeah and then also these are also smart objects as well so if you want to change it from the regular rear guard circle you can change it there uh, I highly suggested that you don't change the canvas size though just to make sure then when you import it into card fire area that uh, you can still line up the rear guard circles accordingly so that's the rear guard circles and again it's gonna be exactly the same thing for the vanguard circle uh, it's the template and you can change the smart object here if you'd like. Uh, moving on we're gonna go into the damage zone or actually sorry guard zone is the same thing as well same thing so vanguard, rear guard, and guard zone all the same thing. Uh, damage zone and deck and drop zone pretty much also behave the same way as well so go into edit so you can change the damage zones and all that sort of stuff so uh, we'll go from bottom here instead so normal so this is just default uh, as is, or if you want to kind of be more customizable and change like uh, the filling within here. So, uh, for example, I have Chica here, so you can change it to whatever image you'd like, and yeah, you know, just keep the outline. And then, if you want to put the damage uh, text down here, which is small as hell, but if you want to, you can. Uh, and then again, that's going to be the same thing for all the other zones. So, deck and drop zone. Oop, not that one. There we go. Yeah. So again, uh, default outline, the gray outline, and then the fill. Very much. You can replace it with white if you want to. Uh, and then the damage zone text as well. And you know, again, lastly, just drop zone. Again, default outline fill. So that's the fields. Um, actually, sorry. Before we move on, uh, also the effects. So going into the layer styles here. So. Uh, what I suggest when you're changing the colors, which I find most effective, uh, we'll start from inner glow here. So whatever color that you'd like, maybe a little darker than you'd like it. So let's say we want like a bluish color. I'll go around here. Uh, and then whatever color that you selected here, you know, just kind of copy it. Overlay. Oh, come on. Boom. And then a little bit lighter. So say about like there and then to outer glow it's gonna be the same thing as the inner glow there we go so it's gonna be like something along those lines at the very least or if you're, if you're lazy you can just um just move uh, what I had before just move the uh, you know the color picker over here and then again, that's going to be the same thing true for the rear guard circle and the guard zone. So they have both the similar so sort of um, 
uh, color uh, configuration. And then for damage deck and drop zone, um, so the reason why you're not see being able to see like the, the Chica image and all that sort of stuff is uh, I kind of prefer actually this translucent, opaque um, sort of way of doing this. I've never really been a fan of how the drop zone and all that uh, stuff looks like, so um, in here, <coughs> sorry, in here I have the um, uh, color overlay to be kind of like this navy blue grayish sort of color, and then with an, a slight inner glow that you can see here, and then it's also been uh, opacity it's turned down to about 62%, and that's been applied to all of the layers down here. And then just remember any of the layer styles that you change over here, uh, layer styles will not change over to the top field, so you have to right click, uh, you know, copy layer style and apply it to the other ones. Uh, okay, so moving on, we have the uh, the dark tint over here. Um, it's not necessary, you can turn that off if you'd like to, but I find it easier to differentiate the playmat image from the actual field itself, kind of making a cleaner look. Um, so you're not, don't have to really worry too much about like what colors uh, the, the images are and if it contrasts, you know, if, if it's going to conflict with the regard circles and kind of like blend in with the regard circles. So, again, I kind of find this a little easier of a way of doing about this. Um, and then lastly, so we have the two different styles of playmat. So you can do either half and half, so your half being towards you and the other half being towards your opponent, kind of like in real life with the two playmats. Or you can also just do full art, so, you know, just both of the playmats on the same art. Um, kind of the same same deal as well. So there are smart objects, uh, smart objects that you can that you change in here. We'll also change the one above. And this, the canvas size here is the same canvas size that uh, you know is pretty much the same canvas size here. So it's suggested not to change that. Uh, and then full art, really basic. Just this is the canvas size. Um, if you have the ruler and the um, Oh god, I'm, mis I'm forgetting the word. Um, but the the ruler and the guides here, guides, that was it. Uh, if you have the guides turned on, you know this will be the halfway mark. So you can say that you know tell that this is going to be your bottom half and this is going to be your opponent's top half. So that. Uh, lastly, we have the two backups just in case. So we have the original field. Uh, if you mess up, you can just kind of go back to this. Uh, we also have the field over here as well. So if you need that as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know if you guys need any suggestions or help. And the file to download this will be in the description below. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a good day.